Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix, back to do another energy update for the sign of Gemini. Just keep in mind, these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Gemini. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming through for you guys this week. Alright, so we have the Page of Swords in the reverse here. Being the first card out, it means that you're no longer interested in communicating with someone concerning something that you were passionate about. Yeah. But I do see you being very happy on your own here. So it's like even with or without this person, you're making yourself very happy. There was something that was illuminated for you concerning this person. It could be a younger fire sign or older fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. But you will get the recognition and the rewards that you were looking for. In the recent past, this person made you feel like you were not good enough or that you were someone that were expendable. And it took you a minute to move on from this person and this connection. But you knew you had to be patient with yourself in order for the healing to take place here. So now you're in a fairly better place. Although you have cut off this person that made you feel this way, you're also achieving a lot of things in your life in the sense of finding your inner peace, loving you for who you are, and accepting things as they are. All right, so let's see what is coming for you in the future. Oh, wow. Okay, so there is an offer coming towards you. Something stable, something grounded, something committed. Something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Something that is going to be very stable. Because you've made the decision to move forward on your own. So now you're in this independent energy, not seeking validation from anyone or anything. Yeah. You've finally given up this person. It could be a Capricorn for some of you. But this person that made you feel like you were not good enough, this person that made you feel like it was a blessing for you to be with them rather than the other way around, you're finally coming out of that energy. A lot of great things is coming forward for you. For some of you, you may still have some self-doubt because you didn't get the closure you were looking for from this person when you ask them why things went the way they did, why they did what they did. They never really gave you clarity. Instead, they gave you more excuses. And this had you in a type of turmoil situation. So you still have some self-doubts now and again and some negative talking to yourself. But you're coming out of the energy of validation. So while you were in a relationship with this person or connection with this person, they made you feel like you were not good enough. And this did take a toll on you mentally. But you're coming out of it. And a lot of great things are finally happening for you. And there are great opportunities going to be coming your way very soon. So don't be despondent or despaired when it comes to the future for you. This person is actually blocking you from your potential. Yeah. Okay. So what happened here is that you had to walk away from this person. Because they were not emotionally fulfilling you the way you wanted to. And they were just literally keeping you stuck and stagnant because you couldn't move forward with this individual. There was no moving forward with them. The more you tried to push to move things forward, <coughs> the more they made you step back. Now, what they wanted and what you wanted were two very different things. This person were with you for sexual gain while you were trying to make it into a long-term committed relationship. So you both want separate pages, not wanting or desiring the same effect from the relationship. 
they were basically in it for what they could have gotten you were trying to build a relationship with this person but then you started to do some deep dives within you and realize that this person was inadequate to you not giving you what it is you wanted and you just stop investing in the relationship and once you stop investing in the relationship and started to invest in you you started to realize that this person's worth in your life was not as much as you may have anticipated it to be so you started to trust your intuition here you started to observe the person you started to look at their lies their stories and it wasn't adding up for you but you weren't ready to let go of this person quite yet you were still stuck on them trying to see if you could help them change transform become a better version of themselves but instead, they, yeah, they kept taking from you and taking from you and taking from you. And then you decided, you know what? I want something balanced in my life. And if this person doesn't want to build with me or grow with me, I'm going to do some healing on myself and I'm going to balance out my own life and I'm going to do it on my own. Once you decided that, you cut off communication with this person. You decided that this person was no longer worth your time, your attention, or your investment of love. Because they were in their ego. Just looking to try to find what they could find, get what they could get out of the relationship. They did a lot of breadcrumbing. They did a lot of breadcrumbing to you. And although you try to make excuses as to why this person isn't committing, why they're not doing what they're supposed to do. <coughs> Sorry you had your own realization that you were the queen of pentacles that you were a caring kind nurturing person someone that knows how to get what it is they want someone that is focused driven loving and you didn't deserve to be treated like this so you came to your own conclusion as regards to this connection why is the empress in the reverse here spirit what why does gemini feel like this okay so you had a lot of regrets from past decisions past partners and you were trying to do things right with this person yeah but instead what they did was give you a lot of anxiety and stress because you may have told this person what you went through in your former relationships hoping that they wouldn't put you through the same thing but they did yeah so you had a lot of anxiety when it came to this person and this relationship but you were trying to be patient with them and you were trying to build a relationship slowly but you kept investing in this person kept investing in this relationship kept hoping kept although you were seeing that this person wasn't in your category you kept holding on you kept investing in them yeah you kept trying to be patient you kept strategizing new ways to get the relationship to move but it's like it wasn't going anywhere why is this seven of pentacles here spirit i guess yeah yeah this person really made you feel inadequate they made you feel like they were the best you could have gotten or you may have felt that way about yourself and this person picked up on it but you finally decided that your worth and value was more than this person was giving to you so you had your own epiphany and realization because you've been doing some healing on yourself. So you took some time out and you started to reevaluate the situation and the person. And you realized that this person and you didn't mesh. Yeah. They didn't want the higher levels of commitment that you did here. You realized that they were in this relationship just for what they could get. And yeah, you weren't in this energy of playing. You wanted a committed relationship. You wanted something that you could build and grow with. But you still didn't want to push them out of your life though. You held on for a bit. You held on hoping that they would change, they would transform and they would understand what you wanted. But then you were forced to make the harsh decisions to walk away from this person. Because although you were trying to be patient with them, they were taking your kindness for weakness. Yeah. So you just stopped. You stopped. 
you stop trying to fix things you stop trying to grow the relationship you stop you stop even being patient with this person and you started to go within mm -hmm. yep you took control of your life of your situation <coughs> sorry you took control of this whole confusing situation here you realized your words and your value and you stepped into your power you cut this person off because they were not willing to meet you where you were at wow this is really an emperor empress energy you found the balance in yourself here with the temperance and yeah you said no you said no to this person it's it's an energy of not taking any more foolishness from anyone mm -hmm. yeah it's either you are willing to commit or not but you were not in the energy of just holding on it's either you wanted commitment with me or you walked away yep yeah because you are in this energy that you have been hurt enough you've been manipulated enough you've been lied to enough and you were not going to be taking that anymore that was done for you so walking away from this person was the logical choice for you. Wow. Yeah, this is a real type of boss type of bitch energy. Yeah, you, you're ready for someone to give to you just as much as you're willing to give to them. You're ready for a new beginning when it comes to love, relationship and commitment. And the universe is bringing it into you. You're about to meet someone that is definitely going to be willing to invest in you, willing to take the relationship to the next level, willing to commit to you because that past lesson that you've been through, it was to change over into new energy. So a new cycle is opening up for you. New beginnings is happening for you left and right. And the decision that you made to walk away from this person that didn't value you was exactly the correct decision for you. So if you were doubting it, Oh, don't doubt it. Because that person was holding you back. Yeah. You're single. You're independent. You're taking care of you. You're living your best life. And that is what is going to attract these new beginnings here for you. A cycle has closed up and a new one has begun. And Gemini, you're ready to step into it. Yeah. No more self-deception here. No more believing anyone's lies. No more deceiving yourself. It's time for you to step into your power. Yeah. Stop taking breadcrumbs from people and face the truth. You are the asset here in this relationship. You are not just another person. You are the person that will take your relationship to the next level and drive yourself to that type of success. Because something new is coming in for you. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have a reciprocated relationship. And you're going to have the stability that you've been looking for. Alright? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.